Don't come in when you step through the door. Well, God knows what you'll bring. It hardly seems worth it for a bottom shelf gin. The bar is open, but please don't come in. Now I view with suspicion every penny that I touch and my fingers are bleeding Cause I wash them so much and there's blood on my hands is the mark of my sin The bar is open but please don't come in And I smile through my teeth at the regulars who keep on pouring on in Cause it's just what they do And I want to punch each of them square in the chin The bar is open but please don't come in Now they scream for more booze at the tops of their voices And I'm part of the problem, but I'm all out of choices All I want is to stop, but I don't know where to begin The bar is open, but please don't come in Now I hate this hypocrisy that I represent But if I don't go to work, well I won't make the rent And now Emily's pregnant and we're all on our own The bar is open but please stay at home Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from Eastbourne, it's Milk and Cookie! And here's your host, David Mad Dog Horn! Thank you, thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. No, no, please, please stop, 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 stop. Thanks, thanks. Oh, it's, it's so nice to be here. Um, thank you for, for being here as well. Okay. okay, first error. I messed this up. Okay, that's better. It's milk and cookies. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Not at the usual time of year, I should add, but, um, you know, everything's kind of a bit strange in the world right now. So for the uninitiated, milk and cookies is my annual um, fundraising musical extravaganza where I play mostly songs that are a, just a bad idea, ill-advised choices of songs to play. And with that in mind, I'm going to start you off with this one.
break this thing down. I do my hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? My hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Woo, child, tired of the bullshit. Gone, dust your shoulders off. Keep it moving, yes, Lord. Trying to get some new shit in there. Swim, we're going to the pool shit. Come now, come dry your eyes. You know you're a star, you can touch the sky. I know that it's hard, but you have to try. If you need advice, let me simplify. If he don't love you anymore, just walk your fine ass out the door. And do your hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? I do my hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? I do my hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? How are you feeling out there? Let me hear. Girl, need to kick up your shoes. Gotta take a deep breath. Time to focus on you. All the big fights, long nights that you've been through. I got a bottle of tequila I've been saving for you. Boss up and change your life. You can have it all, no sacrifice. I know we did you wrong, but you take it right. So go and let it all hang out tonight. If he don't love you anymore, just walk your fine ass out the door. And do your hair toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? I do my hair toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? I do my hair toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? I do my hair toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? If he don't love you anymore, just walk your fine ass out the door. And do your hair toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? I do my hair toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? I do my hair toss, check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? I do my hair toss, I check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Baby, how you feeling? Um, that's right, I have crowd noise. It's, um, it's, actually, it's actually genuine crowd noise from one of my gigs. And um, I, I deliberately went for the damning with faint praise audience. This actually happened at one of my gigs. It's, it's pretty lackluster, right? And then before you know it, it's gone. I, I don't know why I did that to myself. I could have faked it with someone else's crowd noise or even some of my, my own impressive crowd noise because it happens occasionally. But... Uh, no, I thought I'd um, 
I thought I'd just go with that for some reason. All right, let's do another tune. So uh, that was a song by uh, by Lizzo. That um, m- my my little girl, she's three, and she uh, <laughs> she sings all the words to that song. I don't think she knows what uh, a lot of them mean. There's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of shit in there. I don't mean I don't mean in a bad way. I mean just the word appears in in the lyric quite a lot. But um, I don't know. It's kind of cu- I don't know. Maybe this is bad parenting, but I think it's really cute when uh, when when a, when a three year old just just sings about. Uh, going to the pool shit um it's i don't know i don't know what it is it just it tickles me somehow all right moving on this is a jesus this is a song about um oh maybe the most miserable week of my entire life spent on the road in the united states of america which i usually really like but on the, on this occasion it was uh was pretty miserable here we go <laughs> Went out to make some money Cause I ain't got no shame Pour a little poison Onto my good name Down to Carolina Through the pouring rain Won't you pour a little poison Onto my good name Won't you pour a little poison On a magnet name Went out to make some money Cause I got no shame Pour a little poison On a magnet name Down to Carolina Through the pouring rain Pour a little poison On a magnet name Pour a little poison On a magnet name The rain came down And soaked my shoes I'm just a whiny little English boy Singing the blues, I got head full of the problems that I ain't gonna fix when I'm staring at the walls inside the Motel Six, rolling in a Georgia like a midnight train, pour a little poison on a my good name. Maryland will never take me back again. Pour a little poison on a my good name. Pour a little poison on a my good name. Yeah. Rain keeps falling everywhere I go I got nobody but the voices on my radio Shake the dust of every sleepy hill So in town I'll be crying like a loser when the sun goes down So all that I can do to try to get on the same Pour a little poison on a my good name Not another dozen they'll be glad I came Pour a little poison on a my good name Pour a little poison on a my good name Yeah! Rain keeps falling everywhere I go I got nobody but the voices on my radio They play Sweet Home Alabama They play Born to Run They play 99 Problems But a bitch ain't one So I went out to make some money Cause I ain't got no shame Pour a little poison on my good name Down a Carolina through the pouring rain Won't you pour a little poison on my good name Won't you pour a little poison on my good name Pour a little poison on my good name Pour a little poison on my good name. Pour a little poison on my good name. Come on. Pour a little poison on my good name. 
Poor little poison on a maggot name. Poor little poison on a maggot name. Poor little poison on a maggot name. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you're, you're moderately kind. Now, uh, those of you who've been to uh, Milk and Cookie shows before will, will know that um, just, just, in case, just in case I am able to, to learn some ill-advised songs and, and play them for you, we like to also um, take, the, uh, I suppose, I suppose take the power out of my hands and trust it to fate. So I know this is a bit early in the evening, but um, I'm hoping to get this whole night nailed in under an hour, and I, th I think that's going to be tricky. But um, so anyway, I want to introduce you to the best of 1,000 UK number one hits for later years. Uh, so I think it starts in, in sort of 1980 and goes through to all some, some of the worst offenses of the early 2000s. Um, anyway, it's, it's, got a, it's got a whole bunch of songs in here. So what we do is we choose a number at random and, uh, and I play the song from that page. Uh, now. Usually people just shout out numbers and I, I, I take that. So I'm, I'm actually a little behind you on the, uh, on the thing. I can see all your comments, so please be kind. But um, uh, I think I'm a little behind, so if I wait around for your comments right now, then we'll be in ages. So instead, I've got this. Okay. So uh, when I press this button here, it should just stop on a number. And, you know, you'll see what happens. Here we go. Oh, no, it stopped. Oh, hang on. It's all right, I'll do it again. Here we go. Oh, 181, that's a, that's a big number. I don't like the big numbers. They tend to be sort of later in the, uh, in the history of, of music. 181. Oh. Do you know what? I'm actually going to, I'm going to um, veto this one on the grounds that it's, I believe I can fly by R. Kelly, and frankly, that guy's a fucking asshole, and I don't want to sing his song. I, is that all right with you? I'm going to presume. Is that all right with you? Okay, never mind. Um, bit of a lag. Okay, so I'm just going to roll that again, and uh, there we go. <sighs> forty. Oh, that's that's a that's a that's a low one. I think we've got page forty. We had that. That actually came up at last. Milk and cookies. Do you want it anyway? No one's there. No one's. No one's there to to say yes or no. Fuck it. Let's do it anyway, shall we? No, let's not not do it. If I've done it already, that no. I, the whole point is this is supposed to be dangerous. It's supposed to be something, something, uh, something unkempt and unruly. One eight one. That's fucking. I believe I can fly again. What is going on? Is it? Right, this is, yes, I believe I can fly again. What is going on? I swear it's not rigged. It's going to be 40 again now, isn't it? 86. This is great TV, isn't it? Watching a man just look at numbers and read them out. Uh, 86. Come on, something good. Oh. Oh, that's tricky. Okay. Right, okay. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll I'll try it. The piano. It's a it's a Bee Gees song. I I absolutely love the Bee Gees, but they're really hard. It's really hard to play songs by the Bee Gees because they they put so many like key changes and use fancy chords and stuff. Um, and also they sing really high as well, so it's quite hard to stay with them sometimes. Let me see if there's any, any shockers. Okay, right, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it like it's a sad piano ballad because that's, that's kind of my default piano setting. I couldn't figure why you couldn't give me what everybody needs. Shouldn't let you kick me when I'm down. My baby. Find out everybody knows that you've been using me I'm surprised you will let me stay around you One day I'm gonna lift the cover and look inside your heart 
We gotta level before we go and tear this love apart. There's no fight, you can't fight this battle of love with me. You win again, so a little time. We do nothing but compete. There's no life on earth, nobody to see me through. You win again, some never try, but if anybody can, we can. I'll be, I'll be following you. Oh, girl, oh, 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 I'll seek you from now on. Gonna break down your defenses one by one Gonna hit you from all sides Lay your fortress open wide Nobody stops this body from taking you You better beware, I swear I'm gonna be there one day when you fall I can never let you cast aside The greatest love of all There's no fight, you can't fight this battle of love with me You win again, so little time We do nothing but compete There's no life on earth Nobody to see me through You win again, some never try But if anybody can, we can I'm not sure about that one I'll be, I'll be following you Oh, girl. See, key change, I knew it. Who goes to E flat there? So little time, we do nothing but compete. I've lost my place. There's no life on earth, nobody to see me through. You win again, some never try, but if anybody can, we can. I'll be, I'll be following you. Oh, I'll be following you. And that's the gist of the uh, the random songbook. Well, I, I need a little break after that. Um, now, another thing, a tradition that we have at Milk and Cookies is the uh, guest performer. We've, we've had some, some uh, very uh, wonderful guest performers over the years come and, come and share the stage and uh, make idiots of themselves also uh, for your viewing pleasure. Um, this is a little bit different. We, we couldn't have somebody come in the studio. Also, it turns out we couldn't do the digital phone somebody in because we do not have the technology in this building. It's a small garage. Um, but what we did do is I've invited a very special guest to um, pre-record a little moment. So I'm going to share that with you right now. Here it comes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome tonight's special guest. For me, the real king of rock and roll, godfather of soul, and indeed viceroy of funk, it's Tom McRae. Tom, welcome. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Viceroy of funk. Uh, 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 I've been called many things, but never that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you. Hello. Hi, hi, how are you, first of all? I am uh, mostly very well, I think, thank you. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling okay, feeling like a lot of people quite, quite counting my blessings, quite lucky in my situation, quite, quite sort of comfortable, but um, slightly stressed by the news. So I'm kind of walking that line between trying to focus on stay calm, stay happy, stay, stay looking at the little things whilst the bigger picture, I'm slightly freaking out. And I guess that's probably like everyone, really. We're, we're all tightrope walkers right now. So yeah. that's broadly where I'm at. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like uh, the reactions of a very well-adjusted human being. You ought to be commended for that. Thank you. I've, I've been following you. I watch... I watch <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been keeping a very low profile as much as possible. But, uh, which actually now is particularly... Um, people don't look at you like you're some kind of degenerate when you, when you do keep a low profile. I think it's... Uh, I think it's fine to not be in contact with people, so that suits me down to the ground. Sure. So thank you for joining us tonight. Now, um, we've, we've recorded a little duet, uh, a song that, that, that you chose. I gave you carte blanche to, um, to yes. subject us to anything you want to. So, um, so why did you choose the song you chose? 
I chose Brilliant Disguise by uh, Bruce Springsteen, who I am a huge mad fan of, and I believe you are a fan of him too. Um, um, uh, simply because uh, it's a, uh, I've seen him do it as we all have numerous times as a duet with his wife, Patty. And uh, it, I thought, you know, we haven't had too many chances to do songs together. And what what's a Bruce song that we both might know, both might like, and could separate into some sort of notional duet. Um, and also it's only got about three chords, David. So as you know, <laughs> I had to look up what the third one was. But uh, uh, no, it, it's, uh, it's a, obviously a great songwriter and a song that I thought between us, we, we could sort of find something fresh in there. You know? I've always thought that you and me, we have a relationship much like uh, Bruce and Patty. So um, yes. I'm glad that you saw that as well. I did. Oh, you know, people have said it. We're not the first. I mean, we can't fight it, you know. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Everyone, this is our version of Brilliant Disguise. Right, I'm ready. Should we do this? Let's, let's do this. Take it away, Tom. I hold you in my arms Just as the band plays what are those words whispered, baby? Just as you turn away Well, I saw you last night Out on the edge of town I wanna read your mind And see just what I've got In this new thing I've found So tell me what I see When I look in your eyes you, babe, just a brilliant disguise. It's you. All right, your verse. Take it. I heard somebody call your name from underneath our willow. So something tucked in shame. Underneath your pillow Well, I tried so hard, baby But I just can't see What a woman like you Is doing with me So tell me who I see When I look in your eyes Is that you? A brilliant disguise. Now look at me, baby. Struggling to do everything right. Then it all falls apart. Oh, when I go, the lights. Yeah. I'm just a lonely pilgrim. I walk this world. Trust myself I play the loving woman I play the mostly faithful man Just don't look too close, baby Into the palm of my hand When we stood at the altar Gypsy swore our future was right But in the wee wee hours Maybe See light. So when you look at me, you better look hard and look twice. Is that me, baby? Or just a brilliant disguise. I'll do the tragic last one. Tonight our bed is cold Lost in darkness of our love God have mercy on a man Who doubts what he's sure of Should we do another chorus just to finish off the theme? This time So tell me what I see
It was beautiful. That was Thanks, from the Sam. heart or, or somewhere in this region. It's quite hot in here. Sorry, I'm a bit sweaty and guitar yeah. struggling to stay in tune. Amen. Um, Tom, thank you so much for joining us and uh, for lending us uh, the beauty of your larynx and guitar chops. Uh, well, thank you very much for having me. And can I just say a, a pleasure, a privilege, an honour, sir. And also, I know that you are working incredibly hard behind the scenes to pull this all together. And you make it look effortless. And so for those of us that know, it takes a little bit of work. So thank you for that. Thank you. And I, I, I particularly appreciate you saying that on a pre-recorded interview when you don't know how badly it's actually going. Sure. So, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Bless well, you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, have a lovely day and uh, we'll see you soon. Next time I need to subject someone to being my experimental monkey, you're the man. Sure, anytime. I'll be tuning in. See you later. Have a good, good night. 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 Tom McRae. <laughs> How about that? Uh, what a, yeah, let's, 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 have a, let's have a smatter of apologetic applause for, for, for Tom. What, uh, now here's the thing, um, obviously, yeah, you know, great singer, incredible songwriter, but maybe you didn't know, absolutely bloody lovely fella. Uh, you, you couldn't hope to meet a nicer bloke, and so thank you, Tom, uh, if you're watching. I hope you are, because we just showed you a bit. Um, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for, for, for being part of the evening. Um, yeah, love you, man. Um, okay, so another thing that uh, that is uh, typical of the Milk and Cookies experience, which I'm attempting to condense down into a, into a much shorter form, um, is every now and then I will trawl through my, my back catalog, sometimes going beyond the dividing line back into a time that we don't really talk about when I used to front a band. Um, and so I'm, I'm gonna play you a song by my old band. Here we go. <laughs> And the churches won't stretch up through the tarmac of flyovers. The city don't smell like they said in the brochures. It's no longer surprising when lovers and lawyers they lie. But I gladly put up with this shit till the day that I die. Well, we've had our problems, but hey, hasn't everyone? As soon as they're gone, we'll just drag in another one. I can see that you're sad, but you say there's a lash in your eye. And I gladly put up with your shit till the day that I die. Just not cut out for this All strategies, hidden agendas And politics If we can stand before legions Of enemy, just you and I And I gladly put up with this shit Till the day that I die Till the day that I die 
all the day that I die. And I Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a song uh, called Till the Day by a band called Easy World, who, um, a, f a former incarnation of myself used to, used to perform with many, many, many years ago. Uh, happy days, to a point. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's move on from that. So every now and then, in addition to playing, oh, incidentally, I think I got more shits in than Lizzo that time. So, uh, in your face, Lizzo. Um, this, uh, this is, uh, this is a song that, that isn't actually all, all that silly. But um, you know, you you've got to play some non-silly ones from time to time.
what desire will make foolish people do I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you I never dreamed that I'd knew somebody like you No, I didn't want to fall in love No, I didn't want to fall in love Will you? Look, I know it's stupid, the, the applause thing, but please let me, let me have it. I, I've, done a, <laughs> I've done a few of these, uh, these things, and the, just the weirdest moment is when you finish a song to complete silence. Because I, I like to, um, as you may have noticed if you've been to my shows or even watched these things, I pretty much have my eyes shut the whole time. Um, and I, I don't really know why that is. But it's just a reflex. As soon as I as soon as I sing, my eyes just shut, and uh, and I'm I could be anywhere. I'm off in some some dream world. So um, and if you put enough reverb on the microphone, then I, I I pretend that I'm in the Royal Albert Hall or something. But um, 
uh, and then you, you, you come back down to earth with a, with a horrible crash and realize that I'm actually in my garage and, uh, and, and the moment is gone. So I, I, just need, I just need that, that old familiar feeling. So if you'll let me have that, then uh, thank you so much. Okay, so another feature of the Milk and Cookies experience is, of course, the real purpose that we're doing it in the first place, which obviously is to, is to be silly and to have some fun and to enjoy a cookie. I've got a little heart-shaped shortbread going on here. I, actually, I'll, I'll have it um, in the next little section because you don't want me like talking with my mouth full right now. Um, so um, what we're doing is we're raising as much money as possible for um, a, a charity very close to Matika here called Reverse Ret, which is uh, a medical research charity that is um, trying to cure uh, a condition called Rett syndrome. Um, anyway, Better that you find out about it from some people with, with more first-hand knowledge than I do. Please stick around um, for this, this video. You, you may learn something. Um, and I cannot watch it without shedding a tear. Let's, let's see if you can. Okay, this is what um, reverse Rett and Rett syndrome is all about. <laughs> I guess you spend a lot of your pregnancy thinking about what lies ahead and I was really excited and happy and just enjoying it really. The first thing they said to me was, do you have twins in your family? And then they said, yeah, it's twins. Martha was born first and then Daisy was born two minutes later. It was just how I'd hoped it would be really. We were delighted that we could all be together and they were healthy. There were lots of different things that were different about Daisy, but everyone kept saying, don't compare them, they're twins. They all catch up in the end, don't they? Got to about 15 months and she still wasn't crawling. Martha was like running around and Daisy was just sort of sat in her own sort of world. Paediatrician, he said, I think we should do some genetic tests just to see if there is a genetic cause. I saw the genetic consultant. She said quite strongly, I think it is something genetic. Rett syndrome. You've only got to Google it to... I think the first line on the NHS website says something like a severe mental and physical disability. And it, it just didn't look good. Um, but the description of it also fit with Daisy perfectly, so... It's a condition that usually occurs in girls usually born reasonably normal, managing well, and then suddenly they start losing skills. They have difficulties in breathing, autonomic function, communication, and physical growth. When I thought about bringing up two girls together, you kind of have an image in your mind, don't you, of what it's going to be like meeting the same milestones together, playing together. And it's still hard letting go of that image, I think. Um, She'll probably never talk. Um, she'll always have to have 24-hour care. The list is kind of endless. It's not a, a list you want to be imagine your child being faced with. I remember one thing the consultant said to us actually was out of all the genetic disorders, looking at a cure, this is one of the most hopeful she told us about reverse ret, so it made us feel a bit more like perhaps there is some reality to this idea that it could be cured. And pretty much since that date, reverse ret's been the one positive thing that we've had to kind of cling on to, I suppose. I started reverse ret in 2010 because my daughter Amber had begun to deteriorate and that was when I started to look to research to say how long is it going to take until we have, have a cure and that's when I started to dig around and find out actually this, this is possible and actually likely to happen. When Amber was diagnosed with Rett syndrome, they'd only just found the gene that when mutated causes Rett syndrome. Within a few years of that, there was demonstrated reversibility in the animal model. Since then, we've been funding scientists who are looking for ways to do this in a human. Reverse Red has been central to actually getting this trial off the ground because they are the ones who are helping us pre-screen and get patients along into the study. 
they are helping us organize uh, the transport, uh, uh, you know, hotel facilities and so on. Without funding I think uh, it's going to be difficult to be able to continue the same momentum. So they are crucial. The only reason that it's been even possible for us to consider doing this is because Dr Santosh and the team do uh, understand the, the needs, not just the specific medical needs but um, all of the rest of the logistics that go into m managing the life of somebody with Rett syndrome. We know that, that things do look optimistic for the future and I don't want to get my hopes up too high about what a cure might look like. I think it's being realistic but I think just anything that means her life will be happier. It might take some of the suffering. There is a real will to, to put the effort into research in, in this condition and, and we will benefit and Emily will benefit from that. Uh, it's, it's really exciting to think that something is being done um, and maybe more than we dared hope. So there you go, that's, um, that's what it's all about. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, obviously you're watching the show, so you can't be all like uh, going and, and donating your money now. Uh, there, there may be sort of having to enter your address and things. And, and I'm a very serious guy and I always insist that you give me your complete undivided attention. But however, for this song, I will allow you to give me your partial attention. And um, if you're, uh, I, I believe the, link for, for making a donation uh, was in the description of the video thing. Sorry, I'm not very good with technology. Um, but I've also just posted it three times in a row on the live chat. So um, the link is there. Please follow that now. And if you're worried you're going to miss something, um, you're not because I'm going to do this song audio only. Here we go. So um, you can happily open up another window and make a donation and listen to this in the background. And, uh, and and not feel like you've been duped and that you've missed out on anything really important. So um, I'm going to play you this song, uh, which is a song that I've um, uh, I, I was in, been invited a number of times to come and play for uh, Reverse Ret at some of their occasions, and this is a song that um, that, uh, that they always ask for because it, I think it, they kind of feel like it um, like it speaks to them and speaks to the cause. So here we go. Please donate now. Thank you. This is a call to arms Hold your darling tight Don't let her go the fork in the road This is a call to arms This is a call to arms Let us not be defeated Even though we can't win As I see there's a crack in the walls Of the mess that we're in and Let us not be divided I cannot make it alone I've got a heart full of somebody calling me home And this is a call to arms Hold your darling tight And don't let her go at the fork in the road This is a call to arms this is a call to arms I've never been one for fighting But I'm not about to lay down Cause I still have my faith in the dust Of this dirty old town And I wouldn't have it all easy Come on, let the hard times begin. I 
let's kick through the crack in the walls of the mess that we're in. Let's sing this is a call to arms. Hold your darling tight. And don't let her go at the fork in the road. This is a call to arms. Yeah, this is a call to arms. has meant everything now pick up your voice and sing cause this is a call to arms hold your darling tight and don't let her go in the fork in the road this is a call to arms this is a call to arms Yeah, this is a call to arms Hold your darling tight Oh, and don't let her go at the fork in the road This is a call to arms This is a call to arms This is a call to arms. This is a call to arms. Welcome back. Did you um did you all donate? I do hope you did. Right. Now, one of my ongoing projects, uh, I guess, which started, oh, a lot, a lot of years ago now, I, I, I recorded a, a cover version of the disco classic Young Hearts Run Free by Candy Staten. And, um, and, and people seem to like it m largely because uh, it sounded kind of sad, and I think people didn't, don't really associate disco music with sadness. That's because disco music's largely fun, but, but some of the songs are, are, are a little bit sad if... Um, if you if you actually listen to the words a little bit, but but so what I wanted wanted to do as the ultimate challenge, as a performer, is to take a song with absolutely no sadness in it whatsoever, like it's just one hundred percent happy, and see if I could play it sad without actually changing all the chords into minor chords or you know changing the music, just keeping the music exactly the same, but just just playing it in a way that you know sounds kind of sad. So um, that's my challenge that I've taken upon myself for, uh, for no particular reason, just for the uh, proverbial shits and indeed giggles. And I'm going to play for you now um, a song that I, I think just doesn't have just one ounce of sadness in it, and I'm, I'm going to see how much I can pour in, uh, into it and indeed eke out of it. So um, let's do this. going on right here a celebration to last throughout the years so bring your good times and your laughter too we're gonna celebrate your party with you come on now 
Celebration We're gonna celebrate and have a good time Celebration We're gonna celebrate and have a good time It's time to come together It's up to you What's your pleasure? Everyone around the world, come on. Celebrate good times, come on. It's a celebration. Celebrate good times. Come on. It's a celebration. There's a party going on right here. A dedication to last throughout the years. So bring your good times and your laughter too. We're gonna celebrate your party with you. Come on now. Celebration. Let's all celebrate and have a good time. Celebration. Let's all celebrate and have a good time. It's time to come together. It's up to you, what's your pleasure, everyone around the world, come on. The happy just has to come out at some point. Um, oh, I didn't. I won't even give myself a clap for that. We're running out of time. In fact, we, we've run out of time. I'm o I've overshot the mark by quite some distance. So um, let's just do, uh, do do one more, shall we? Or should we just do one more from the book? Because uh, the last one was uh, the last one wasn't terribly slick. So I really want to redeem myself by just going like, right, first number we get to. Uh, is it's gonna be I believe I can fly again, isn't it? Oh, oh shit! I stopped it. It didn't stop. Was it eighteen or was it twenty? Uh, maybe they're both the same song. Let's. Sorry, I'm I'm just gonna run it again because I I, I I screwed that up. There's a little delay on the switch. Okay. It's fucking eighteen again. This looks like a rig, doesn't it? I swear, there's nothing there's nothing rigged in here. What is eighteen? It better be a good song. Uh, oh, oh, I don't like this one, but but you know we'll we'll, we'll do it anyway. Why am I why am I playing it over here? Let's uh, let's let's, let's play it on the on the guitar. I, I mean I don't know how to play that either. Right, okay. <coughs> Sorry, thinking on my feet. Oh, okay. Let's 
to get rid of that number. 18, I never want to see that again. Will I do the John Lennon version or the Brian Ferry version? Okay, we'll see. See where it ends up. I was dreaming of the past And my heart was beating fast I began to lose control I began to lose control I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry I didn't want to hurt you I'm just a jealous guy I was feeling insecure You might not love me anymore I was shivering inside I was shivering inside I didn't mean hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry I didn't mean to hurt you I'm just a jealous guy Is it a whistling solo? I don't remember the record I can't whistle. I was trying to catch your eyes. Thought that you were trying to hide I was swallowing my pain I was swallowing my pain I didn't mean to hurt you I'm sorry that I made you cry I didn't want to hurt you I'm just a jealous guy I'm just a jealous guy I'm just a jealous guy applauding that either. All right, let's, uh, let, let's do this one to finish. This kind of always uh, used to be a, a traditional finishing, finishing song, a closer, because uh, usually I'd, ha I'd have a band that comprised of just like anyone I dragged onto the stage that day, and, and this song has three chords in it, so, um, so it's pretty easy. But I'm actually gonna play it like a whole bunch lower than, than I used to, for reasons I, I can't really explain, okay. <laughs> So this is the last song. Thank you so much for um, for attending uh, virtually Milk and Cookies. Um, if uh, I, I'm going to watch this back, and and if it's if it's decent, then then we'll do it again. Maybe we'll make it a regular thing. We'll we'll just keep doing this every not every week, you know, every uh, fortnight or so, um, you know, until until this damn virus things disappeared. Um, 
So, um, like I say, thank you so much. Please, please do donate to Reverse Rep because even though, you know, th there is obviously we're at the time of a global pandemic, it might seem kind of weird to ask for your money to cure something else. But um, you know, when when uh, when COVID has 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 disappeared and and uh, and all that, um, Rett syndrome will, will 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 likely still be around, and uh, and it absolutely must be eradicated from this planet because um, it's horrible. So uh, I'm going to leave you with this song. This is called Cheer Up, You Miserable Fuck. Oh, oh, you know this one. Okay, here we go. Walk through the walls They catch your rise and falls And sink back to sleeping Again Dust Settles on the shelves Will you shake me from myself And tell me I'm alright Oh Time on your own The flowers have grown Under your feet Don't, don't you think that it's time You said, hey, this one is mine Maybe do what you want to do Cause you you are no fun And I'm so dumb But please let us not be lonely Again And you You wear your mistakes And I know mine But please let us not be lonely This time
cheer up You miserable fuck This has gone on long enough I don't want to hear any more And if, if you wait for the day You find your thinking pens astray You'll be waiting for a long, long time And you, well you are no fun And I'm so dumb but please let us not be lonely yeah. And you Will you wear your mistakes? I know mine But please let us not be lonely This time Creaks in the night when I turn out all the lights, and there's nobody else around. And ghosts walk through the walls, they catch your rise and falls, and sing back to sleep again. And you. Well, you are no fun And I'm so dumb But please let us not be lonely Again And you You wear your mistakes and I know mine But please let us not be lonely This time La, 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 the whole audience participation bit doesn't really work in this uh, online environment, but I like to think in a way that's similar to, uh, you know, on Thursday nights when everyone goes out and claps for the NHS. You'll uh, maybe go onto your doorstep and just sing la 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 and just, just confuse the anyone else who might be uh, wandering around. Maybe do it after the song's finished, okay? La. La 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 But please let us not be lonely
Thank you so much. That was Milk and Cookies Online 2020, Episode 1. There might be another. I'm going to give myself a round of applause. I'm going to give you a round of applause. And uh, thank you so much uh, for, for taking the time to, to come and, uh, and stop in. Uh, thank you very much, and good night. Thank you.